There's a beautiful little park located just east of the FLDS polygamous community of Hildell and Colorado City on the Utah-Arizona border called Maxwell Park. We were in St. George last week and decided to drive over to see this unusual little place one afternoon. North of the park is a series of peaks that are all part of the Vermilion Cliffs of the Canaan Mountain Wilderness Area, which is a few miles south of Zion National Park. As we drove to the most northern edge of the park, I noticed a slot canyon between what turned out to be Maxwell Peak on the west and Trail Mountain on the east. The valley between the two cliffs is verdant and green. I spoke to a woman in the park and she told me that there are a lot of springs in the area that seep out between the layers of sandstone. I noticed that at every campground in the park there was a water tap for drinking water. It was cold and delicious. I planned our trip to capture the dwindling afternoon light just before sunset. I love how the Trail Mountain cliffside on the right is bathed in this intense glow. I noticed the shadow rising up on the cliff face as we flew across it. You can see along the top of the cliffs. On the west, we can see the back of El Capitan. The over 7,000 foot cliff that stands on the east side of the Short Creek community. On the top of the plateau, we can see groves of aspens, ponderosa pines, and juniper and pinyon woodlands in the distance. Canaan Mountain is an incredible red rock wall that rises above the hills and canyons of this desert area. I really love the rugged cliff face of Trail Mountain and the many sandstone rock formations beyond stretching into the horizon. I couldn't help but wonder what monumental forces must have formed these majestic red rock marvels. I recently read that rapid mega floods may have actually formed canyons and formations like this in the distant past as glacial ice dams released massive amounts of trapped water and boulders. You can see the alluvial fans below these giant formations. It would be fun to jump into a time machine and watch the process over whatever time it took. We headed back just in time to see the sun setting west of Hurricane and lighting up the bottom of the clouds like flaming wisps.